Dave here for Gaming with Swag. Today we're reviewing the Star Trek Attack Wing Mirror Universe Kelvin Timeline Faction Pack. These two Klingon ships that we're going to review today are from the Star Trek Discovery TV show. First off, we have the regular standard Klingon attack cruiser, Warbird class. It has four attack dice, one defensive dice, four hull, and two shields with a 17 cost. It has target lock, battle stations, cloak, and uh, evasion, I do believe it's called. First off, we will look at the Suval. The only difference is that it adds a extra shield to your ship. Uh, so when attacking, if the ship is cloaked and not in the primary fire arc of a defender ship, this ship rolls one extra attack dice, this attack, and the defending ship rolls one less defensive dice, this attack. Uh, that could come in handy with ships that have just the front normal 90 degree firing arc, but if you're playing against the Kelvin Timeline Enterprises or ships that have 360 or 180 firing arc, that could be a lot harder to try and maneuver these ships to get yourself out of their primary arc to use it. Same thing, 21 SP cost for the IKS, IKS Amar. Uh, when this ship suffers damage to its hull, once per game, if this ship is cloaked, this ship may make an attack with its primary weapon. So if you are cloaked and take a hit, you can retaliate with your primary weapon. But that doesn't say if you have to be in the firing arc or anything though. I wonder if that's anywhere? Uh, pretty slow ship, max speed is 4 straight, but it does have a 3 come about and a hard left and a hard right at 3. So I always like come abouts. It's always fun trying to surprise your opponent with that, especially if you only have to put the last shot or two into him. And next up we have Captain Core. Choose an opposing ship during setup. When attacking that ship, this ship may roll one extra attack dice and convert up to two battle stations and two hits. Sounds like that's automatically. Uh, when defending against that ship, this ship may roll one extra defensive dice and convert up to two battle stations into maneuvers. Uh, I find that highly advantageous. It doesn't cost you an action. It's just one ship, so if you're playing a smaller fleet where the only person has two or three ships, you should have a pretty good chance of going up against them and taking your extra advantages while you can. Considering that... Sorry. Next, we up have Captain Kang. He is a six level captain with a four SP cost. And for the planning phase, if an opposing Federation ship is in the ship's primary firing arc, increase the captain skill of this captain by two this game round. So you could move up to an eight in order to have to move first, you'd still fire after the ship, but... Next we have a Klingon First Officer. For the end phase, once per game, discard the captain equipped to this ship. Perform an attack with the ship's primary weapon, this card becomes the ship's captain with the captain skill level 4. So if you need to put the final shot into a ship, or anything, you can discard the captain to take another action with the primary weapon. Cling up patrol. During the end phase, if this ship is not in the primary firing arc of an opposing ship within range of one to two, flip this ship's cloak token to its green side. So it sounds like you can cloak at the end of your turn. Only two SP cost, so if you like to cloak and run or cloak and hide uh, for those extra defensive dice, that could be advantageous. During the setup, play Place one disabled token on a crew upgrade equipped to each opposing ship. 
sounds like you can disable officers on other opposing ships, but it only lasts one round. So you, the only way that would work is if you're planning on attacking or defending and you really plan that out correctly. Next we have a Klingon cloaking device. When defending, if this ship is cloaked, convert a blank into a maneuver, which is always handy because I always seem to roll at least one blank no matter how many dice I roll. And then the odds are pretty good because you know that you're cloaked, so you'll be rolling extra dice. End phase, place three time tokens on this card. Flip the ship's cloaked token to its green side. Next, the Klingon Guard, 2 SP cost. Discard this card, place a maneuver token beside the ship. Uh, definitely handy if you know you're going to get pounded one time by multiple ships to be able to throw an extra maneuver token on there. Next we have Photon Torpedoes. The attack value of this weapon is a ship's primary weapon value plus one, which would put it at five. Spend this ship's target lock token, because it's a Photon Torpedo, and place three time tokens on this card and target an opposing ship. If the defending ship has no active shields and is not cloaked, convert all battle stations into criticals. Uh, at a range of 1 to 3, that sounds like a extremely good weapon, considering that you're rolling 5 attack dice, plus if you had the captain that added an extra attack dice for having a specialty ship that you're attacking, would get you 6 attack dice, plus battle stations, and converting all those criticals. It sounds like a highly effective weapon. It also appears that it's only out the rear firing arc. Overwhelm. When attacking, place two time tokens on this card. This game round, for each other friendly ship that has attacked the defending ship this game round, this ship rolls one extra attack dice and may convert a blank into a battle station. And finally we have the Disruptor Volley, which is five attack dice on a Klingon cruiser at range one to three. Target this card, er, sorry, for the attack. Disable this card and a target an opposing ship. This attack deals no damage. If this attack hits, place an auxiliary token beside the defending ship. If the defending ship is an attack squadron, discard one attack squadron token for each uncancelled hit or crit. Uh, I see this card really only being used to attack squadrons, which would be very handy that you could theoretically wipe out an entire squadron in one attack. And that's probably my favorite card out of this whole set, is that Disruptor Valley. Or you can force an opponent that would be planning on doing uh, possibly a come about or a red maneuver by forcing them to take an auxiliary token and no longer being able to perform another red maneuver back to back. It could come in handy too to make them go straight or have to turn into your enemy or into objects. Thanks for listening. This is Dave from Gaming with Swag, and I just reviewed the Attack Wing Kelvin Timeline Klingon ships.